Hey you guys, it's Stephanie from Fast Track to Health. Long time no see. I've taken a really long time off from uh, making videos. Um, quite, a, quite a while, especially for YouTube. Um, I was on a roll making videos every day for TikTok, but uh, even that has slowed down over the last couple months. So um, I've had this channel now for I think at least eight years, um, YouTube that is. So I wanna get back into it again, but I wanted to give you guys uh, a little update and um, background on what I've been up to for the last couple years. Um, so this is not really gonna be like an educational video like you're used to. So if that's what you're looking for, you know, it's okay. You can just go to the next video. This is gonna be more like an update uh, about me and what I've been up to. And then I wanna give you some um, visuals on the things that have changed in, in my life. But anyway, um, I was working, as you know, in a brick and mortar clinic up in New Jersey and um, both those, those locations have closed down and now I work entirely online. I moved to Florida a little over two years ago, Central Florida, and I love it here, it's, it's awesome. And uh, so everything I do now is virtual. I still do uh, see patients online, but not really as much. I mostly am running my um, supplement store for standard, with standard process products. And then I also have an autoimmune course that I created it's an online course, uh, teaches you about how to heal autoimmune disease naturally. So that's something I'm really proud of. And then I recently, um, it's going on a year now, I recently moved to um, a 15 acre property that I turned into a small hobby farm. And that's been sort of what's keeping me busy, amongst other things, for, for quite a while now. Um, so I've been up here since, it's, it's gonna be a year this, this coming December and um, started out with really nothing here as far as uh, you know fences and pastures and animals, but now I have a bunch of animals. I'm gonna take you out and show you everybody and, and introduce you to all the pets. Um, but that's been really, really fun, um, just getting into that. And you know, I get my own eggs now for my chickens, which took many months for them to get big enough for that, but that's the case. And then another thing that I started doing, which was very unexpected, was I started singing. Um, it's, it just kind of happened in the weirdest way. Um, started out really just doing karaoke. That's my goat. You're, you're going to meet him in a few minutes. Started out doing karaoke and it turned into um, me actually getting singing gigs and working in a duo and um, solo stuff too and uh, even joining a band. So I have band practice now and I do some shows and it's been really fun singing. This, that's something I never expected being a drummer for all these years. I thought I was gonna get back into drumming and start doing some gigs drumming, but instead I am now singing, which is really awesome and it's a lot of fun. And um, let's see, I'm, I'm mostly working from home and working online, um, not only with my store, but with some other e-commerce things. And, um, you know, I am a content creator and been a content creator, taking a lot of breaks, as you know, but I really want to get back into it again. Um, so, you know, look for more videos coming up in the near future. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on all that. And this is probably the first time that I've been on camera for YouTube, like completely au natural, no makeup or anything. <laughs> I'm not used to doing that either, but I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, but I really wanted to show you guys around, um, you know, my pets and my property and um, my little mini farm here. And um, yeah, I just got done feeding the goats because they were driving me crazy. They were, they were making so much noise like they had never eaten before in their lives, which of course isn't true. Um, so I'm going to take you guys out there and introduce you to all the babies. Um, first, I'm going to take you over here to the kitties. There's Taz, say hi Taz. He's in his little tree. And then we got the newest kitty. Hey, this is Pumpkin, say hi Pumpkin. She's never been on camera. And then the uh, the tailless wonder. Well, actually here's Tiger. Let's say hi to Tiger first. Say hi Tiger. Say hi Tiger. Say hi. Oh, you're yawning for us? You're so sweet. And then we got Tinka, the one who lost her tail. Say hi, Tinka. Say hi, baby girl. Say hi, sweetie. Say hi. Okay, so let's go outside and I'm gonna introduce you to 
my five Nigerian dwarf goats and my chickens. Be right back. Okay, so we'll start right here. This is a little cottage that is across from my lanai. Uh, we use it as an Airbnb. That's been really successful because we, um, we use it as a farm stay, meaning they get to see all these crazy animals over here while they're hanging out for the weekend or whatever. So here are my babies, my goats. I got them when they were all very small and now they're very big, at least for their, their breed. They're full grown, even though they're not huge. Like this is the smallest one here. Say hi, Garth. And this is Elvis. Elvis is the only buck, meaning the only one that's intact. The other ones we had castrated. And there's the big guy. That's Bam Bam over there. Say hi, Bam Bam. Elvis here. Hey, buddy. Say hello. He is very colorful and very cute and very aggressive with the girls. As a matter of fact, he got the ladies pregnant. So we have two pregnant does now, which is awesome. So I'm going to go inside and get a closer look. No, nope, don't run out. So this is Bam Bam. Those horns right there can be very dangerous. <laughs> Hey, so I got to really keep an eye on him. Now let's go meet Pebbles. This is my peg, uh, pregnant Pebbles. Pebbles, come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. Say hi. You're going to be a new mommy soon, aren't you? Say hi. She's very camera shy. She's always been like that. Say hi, baby girl. Say hello. Okay, fine. And then we got Dolly, the other doe who's pregnant. Say hi, Dolly. Dolly's very small, but somehow she's carrying... She's carrying around some babies with her. Say hi, Dolly. She's so pretty. She's gorgeous. So they have two pastures here. It's divided in between. I am going to get more animals. Horses are next on the list. This is their little goat shelter where they sleep at night. And they have some things to play on. They got some tires out here. And some things to jump on. Say hi, Elvis. Elvis is on you no matter what. Wherever you are, he's gonna come right after you and wanna jump on you, lick you, or chew you. That's what he does. Garth, he's kind of the same, but Elvis is a little bit more aggressive. Elvis, chill, buddy, chill. I used to be able to come in here and spend a lot of time with them, but now it's a little difficult because they're a little bit uh, mischievous. Say hi, Bam Bam. Look at that face, though. How can you not love that face, huh? Those horns, now that's a whole other thing. You're very photogenic, aren't you? Let's go back over to Elvis. Elvis, he was the same size. Actually, he was smaller than Garth before Garth was castrated. Garth, you're so adorable, even though you don't have your man parts anymore. Or they sh you still have them, but they're just very small now. Compared to this guy, let's take a look at your man parts. Oh yeah, Elvis. <laughs> And then here comes Bam Bam. Imagine if we didn't castrate him. This guy would have been a handful. You would have been a handful, huh? Nah, he's a good boy. He just, you just got to watch out for him. Okay, so let's go meet some of the chickies. We have a variety of hens here, mostly Australorps and Well Summer and, what is it, Rhode Island Red, I think that one is. She makes a lot of noise, this one. Had a whole bunch of roosters. Had to get rid of them. They were, well, we had too many. They outnumbered the hens. It was way too many roosters for hens. So, um, yeah, we got rid of, gosh, over, over 10 roosters, which was crazy amount. Um, so now we have nine uh, laying hens. There's another one over there in the dirt. And then there's one coop there in the corner. And then I'm going to take you out to the other coop so you can see the specialty chickens. But yeah, these are my girls. Some of them fly over and then they come back at the end of the day. But they're um, good laying hens and we get eggs every day, which is why we do all this. Plus they're really cute. They're, they're really good pets actually. All right, let's go over to the other pen and meet the specialty chicken. Say bye to the goats. Bye babies. I'll be back. Um, so there's a lot of pine trees on this, on this property. It's uh, more. It's like more than 10 acres of pine. Um, so this is the main house over here. 
Now we're gonna walk around to the other coop. The girls are gonna follow me. They think I have treats for them. Come here, girls. Come on. Yeah, I usually bring them treats. They're expecting that. Now over here we have another coop and we have non-laying chickens, but they're cute. These are cute chickens. So the white one is a silky. That rooster there, the only rooster we have now, he's a Polish rooster. This is a Polish hen. This one right here, she's really cute. And then there's a golden Polish hen right here. She's a wild child. She jumps, uh, sorry, she flies over oh, quite a bit. Tries to get out while she gets out and then I have to go get her. And then this is one of our silky hens. Say hi, cutie. Say hi. Now, none of them have actual names except for the rooster. We call him Mr. I'm going to go inside so you can see the other silky hens because they're brooding right now and they've been in there for weeks. They don't want to come out. They're sitting on eggs and they just don't come out. They don't come out to eat. They don't come out to drink. They don't come out for anything. It's really bizarre. But um, apparently this is what they do. There they are. Say hi, guys. They're making noises. I know you don't want to be disturbed, right? Say that again. Right? Oh, it's okay. When are we going to have the babies? When are we going to have little chickies? Anyway. So, yeah, we recently got these other crazy chickens. Um, this one here, the rooster, he was in with the other hens initially. But since he's a specialty breed and has the weird... Uh, fe <laughs> oh, thank you. Feathers on his head. Uh, they were picking on him. They they were taking all the hair off of his head and making him bleed. It was really horrible. So we had to isolate him. He was alone for the longest time. They, these silkies are so cute, though. Oh my gosh. You are so cute, you little fuzzy thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Oh, I love you. So cute. So they don't... I mean, the, the silkies that are in there now have laid some eggs and they're sitting on them. So we'll have babies instead of eating those eggs, they're going to turn into little babies. And I don't know if these Polish ones will lay anytime soon. They're still really young, but they do lay um, a few times during the year. We'll see what those eggs wind up looking like. But these chickens are all really nice and friendly and pretty good for the most part. So that's the two coops. There's the hens, laying hens. And then my baby goats over there. And then in the future, miniature horses, regular horses, possibly a miniature cow. Who knows? Sky's the limit. I love animals. It's my big passion in life. That's why I started all this now and didn't wait till I was retired or something. Come here, Bam Bam. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Say hi. Say hi. You're going to be on YouTube, buddy. Come here. Come here. Anyway, so that's the updates, and um, these these are my farm animals, and I'm gonna end the video with um, state of the end because I'll have a lot of uh, footage from when the babies were growing up because they look completely different than they do now, right, Pebbles? Actually, before we do that, let's just let's take a walk to the front so you can get a. A, a glimpse of the coolness of this property. It's really, really neat. So, like I said, we have 15 acres in total, but most of it is pine trees. So if you see over here, all the trees here. Now we had the trees thinned out recently, but the majority of them are still here. So this is a view now from the front of the house. take it to the driveway so you can see how many trees and how big this really is. It's a really, really neat property. I really love it. So nice long driveway there. Trees on both sides of it. We have neighbors on all sides, basically. We're not that isolated here, but it's just a really beautiful view from any direction, really. 
So that's really cool. Let's see here. That's the front of the house. Let's take you around to the side here so we get a full 360. What is that over there? Is that a bird? Oh yeah, one of my hens. Oh, that's a squirrel. Oh gosh, of course, the squirrels. Can't escape the squirrels, can you? <laughs> there, he's gone. So yeah, one of my laying hens is out as usual. She does that a lot. She likes to fly over and just roam around the yard. In the beginning, I tried to stop her, but it didn't really help. She would come right back out again, so I stopped doing it. But anyway, she is uh, she's just roaming around. Gives the cat something to look at. She'll go in by the end of the day. So over here uh, is the side of the cottage, and we built this little deck right there people to sit outside and over here as well. We put in all this landscaping. There was nothing here. It was completely empty. Even back here, this was, there was nothing here. There was a tractor under here, under this awning and sitting in dirt. Uh, so we don't have the tractor anymore. And then we put these shells in here to make a nice little sitting area underneath the awning for the summertime or whenever it's, it's warm all year long. Put in a little above ground pool put in a deck, recently put in some of this grass, but I have a lot more to do back here. But it's a really, uh, it's a really nice property. Very happy here. I'm just gonna walk you around this way to give you another view of the pastures. And let's see here. Yeah, it goes that direction, five acres of trees can't really see it from here and then the two pastures are right here and we're looping back around again to where the goats are making so much noise hey babies hi hi guys hi guys it's another beautiful day here in Florida the weather is finally not so hot anymore what's it like October 14th it's, it's finally cooling off which is really great there you are again. Hey, what are you doing? So anyway, let's see, how do I flip this back again? Is that how I do it? I can't even remember. No, that's not it. So anyway, now you got to see, you got to see my babies. Say hi, Pebbles. <laughs> So that's a little tour of my property and an update on how things have been going. I hope you guys will stick around to the end and uh, check out the footage of the beginnings of the farm, the babies when they were little. Um, and I will definitely be posting a lot more content in the near future. I mean, my goal is to post every day or almost every day, daily videos. So of course it'll be about health topics. It won't be about farm animals. I, I just did this as a little, um, update and um you know people ask me what i've been up to it's just easier for me to to go on video and show you all this and uh hopefully you'll watch the rest and and watch all the farm animals um when they were babies and growing up so anyway stay tuned for more guys and i'm glad i got a chance to update you on everything take care
You're silly. You're silly. <laughs>
he's improving.
Yeah, good boy, Garth. Yes, you're just a good boy. He likes playing on the tire. Woo! Ah, there he goes. Oh, yes, coming. 